Hey, kia ora. Helen Bronson coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're having a super fantastic sparkling tune up Tuesday. So, what tune ups did you do today? I this morning decided that I was going to have the tune up of Choosing Joy, and I tried to practice that in everything I did today. Didn't get in all things. What are you yipping at? I don't know if you heard it, but she just gave a little yep. Um, so I tried. So um, I was conscious of choosing joy in all things. So that was kind of cool. Um, got most of the day. Got it. Got me through most of the day. There's a couple of areas I kind of was a little like on, but overall we got through the day um, being joyful. So it was kind of cool. And uh, then I got to learn new things today. I got a friend who um, was able to explain to me in layman's terms, like really good non techy layman's terms about Bitcoin and, but especially about NFTs. So I got to learn about those today. So that was kind of fun, learning something new. Um, and uh, still a little confused on it, but most of it made sense. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep um, looking at that one and see how it goes. <laughs> but uh, now today's gone really, really good. I had a busy time on the chat today. It was busy. Um, and, uh, but it was it was a good busy, got lots of stuff done, um, got lots of calls closed, got lots of people happy. Um, so it was it was a very overall, it was a really good day today. Um, even did a, a small grocery shop and got that delivered really quickly. Um, so I was glad to get that done as well because I was going to got mushrooms for dinner to portobello mushroom caps, you know, the big ones like about this big. I'm going to cook up those tonight. And I suddenly realized I was out of a couple of things that I wanted to put in there. So um, went on and did a quick little shop and they delivered it all. I think I had like, there was like three shopping bags, two shopping bags. Yeah, two shopping bags. So not a lot of stuff. Um, although I was annoyed to find that um, there were a couple of things that were in with food that shouldn't have been. Because I needed some, desperately needed some hand cream because my hands have been so I've been moisturizing my hands all the time using lotions and stuff on my hands and I have shea butter and um, cocoa butter and I've been using them on my hands too although they they tend to sit on top of the surface um, my hands are dry and I've got some really weird dry patches on my hands and so I was sort of like I really need something so um, there's a couple of products that Sprouts had that I know work no um knew from experience worked really well so i was able to they had them in stock and to find them in in with my fr with my refrigerated stuff where my fresh fruits were my blackberries um wasn't too happy about that there was no smart bagging on that part um so um but then i had to go take the dog for a walk so i've just got back from walking zephy and oh my gosh we had so much fun tonight with her walk um <laughs> first we met ginger Ginger is this dog smaller than Zephy, skinny, long fur, longish fur, um, and hyper. I thought Zephy was high energy. Ginger is probably about 10 times more energy than Zephy has. And the two of them were running, and Zephy, and, and Zephy will, only to, will usually tolerate um, ginger for a small amount of time and then she sort of like stands there and starts whining and ginger's the one that at one point Zephy's standing there munching on grass and so ginger comes underneath the back of Zephy's legs crawls up underneath Zephy's belly <laughs> and brings her head out between Zephy's front legs <laughs> is how skinny she is and, and Zephy's face is mouth the bottom part of her mouth is here and ginger is right up here next you know well, who knows, literally touching the underside of Zephy's chin and um, and Zephy just completely ignored her. <laughs> and the owner and I are standing there, we're cracking up laughing and Zephy is completely oblivious to this dog. She doesn't react at all. No flinch, no no nothing, no reaction from her at all. Um, and so this was, and so Zephy will tolerate it for a bit and then she goes and stands off the side and just starts whining, like pulling on the leash, let's go, let's go. And today, the two of them were just going at it. They were having so much fun. But Ginger would keep running around, and she's got a very thin leash, nylon leash. Um, and at one point, I'm sort of like, what the heck was that? And she had gone around and whipped the back of my knees, and I had my jeans on, but whipped the back of my knees and burned her leash across the back of my knees. And I was like, 
Okay, I got denim on, and I felt that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, she was she'll get them all tied up in her leash and everything else, and then her owner and I would figure out how to untangle. And just as we get untangled, she goes and spins all around again and gets everybody all tangled up again. It was like a never-ending battle. So we finally got the dogs free, and Sefi was sort of like, "I'm done. I'm out of here." Um, so we left and um, got up to the corner of the street, and Zephy starts turns to the right and then she just starts like whining and I turn and there's her friend Chloe there and so um yeah the two dogs had fun playing and and all of that and then um the security guard that has the dog treats comes up and and Zephy sees him down the street and she just stands there and watches until he comes up in front and uh, so they both got their treats and quite happily ate them and uh then um then we went on our way for a bit and met back up with them again and so yeah it was it was quite a good evening and nice it was a beautiful evening outside it was gorgeous and tomorrow um and we've had sucky air quality the last two days and um i didn't even realize we had that because i haven't checked the weather programs lately and uh but i went in to check today because i couldn't figure out why my throat's been so scratchy but it was constant sneezing block sinuses and everything going on and it's not a cold feel and um something's got to be going on and so i went on and we had bad we've had air quality warnings the last two days and i'm like ah oh, that explains it and now we've got the wind blowing all the dust around this evening but it was still a beautiful evening out there and it wasn't windy windy it was just a nice steady breeze um but the wind's meant to be picking up tonight and then tomorrow we've been in the we were up near 80 today like around 78 79 type of thing and then tomorrow we're dropping down to 62 that's meant to be the high for tomorrow, 62, um, and rain. We've got 80% chance of rain, so I'm sort of like, rain, yes. My sinuses will say, thank you. <laughs> but the problem is the rain is coming with wind, so we won't be able to put the awning out, which means when I have to take Zephy out for a walk, she's going to plant her feet and not want to leave the RV. Because when it's raining, and if I open the door and it's raining, she won't go outside. If I open the door and it's raining and the awning is out, then she will go outside. Um, and then just kind of look around and then sort of not really want to leave the shelter of the awning, but she's got more space to walk around out there or underneath the RV. But yeah, tomorrow it's meant to be windy as well. So it's like, great. It's got like 20 mile per hour winds or something expected tomorrow. So it's going to be wet and windy, but that's okay. We'll be snuggled up inside tomorrow. So anyway, that's it from us for this evening. Hope you've had a super fantastic sparkling tune up Tuesday. Let us know in the comments below. Um, what tune-ups you got to do today, what changes you're making this week for your business, what tweaks and changes you're making, if they're personal or business-wise. Um, I'm always curious just to see what, what things people think need tuning up. But we're going to go and um, figure out what to, first I'm going to go cook dinner, and then we're going to figure out what we're going to watch tonight. Not sure. Anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening, and we'll catch you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Oh, winning Wednesday. Yeehaw. It's winning Wednesday tomorrow. Yippee-yay. Good evening. Hey, Conner.